Hey, what is going on everyone? In this video, I'm going to teach you how to unlock the bootloader, uh, loader custom recovery and root the HTC One 2014 edition, also known as the HTC M8. Uh, I just need to tell you some important details that by attempting to follow the instructions in this video, should something go wrong, you could permanently damage your device. If that is the case, I take no responsibility, so you'll follow the instructions in this video at your own risk. Furthermore, by following instructions in this video, you'll also be voiding your warranty, uh, so if you need a warranty, just turn off this video right now. All credits and props goes to Hasun2000. I assume I s said that correctly. Um, XDA member. And you you can, you know, uh, log in. Well, actually, you should log in and hit the thanks button. You know, thanking them for all their hard work. And better yet, donate to them. And you can find a link to thanking them and also all the downloadable files they'll be needing, which are important, in this webpage. And I'll put a link to this webpage in the video description. Just simply expand the video description to find this page. You can log in, hit the thanks button, donate, and download. Please do not ask me for any technical um, help. I am not a developer, so if you have any technical questions, please ask in this forum. Okay? Because I'm not a developer, I wouldn't even know how to answer your questions, so I won't respond to any technical questions. This method works on a number of different versions for the HTC M8. I have the um, unlocked version, so I think this will work in most countries of the world because it's unlocked. Um, to know if your version will work, there's no list here of confirmed working versions. Um, I posted in the forum asking the developer to do it, uh, maybe they will. If you're running, say, the, the Sprint version or something, just use the search function type Sprint and see what other users have said. Um, honestly, that's the best thing you can do for now, but it works for a number of different versions of the M8. Most versions, actually. And of course, one of the most important things to remember is that everything on your device will be wiped. Everything. So that'll include your apps and of course your pictures and music and photos and stuff in the internal storage of your HTC M8. So be sure to back it up. So to download it, you're gonna scroll down. This is the first post, you can scroll down it just a little bit. Uh, you can go to the second post and you're gonna hear there's a website, click it. Then we're gonna look for the 1 2014 M8. I'm gonna download version 2.0 because it's the newest version, which is usually better. Download it. Um, in order to open this file, you will need WinRAR. So in order to get WinRAR, in the first post is actually right here, step number two, download WinRAR. You should have WinRAR anyway. I mean, it's great, but uh, once it's done, you're gonna extract it. It's recommended you extract it directly to the C drive of your computer. Some people have problems with the directories not working. I will personally recommend that you just put it to the C drive. This is the program you're gonna have. Um, it's designed to be very user-friendly. So, you know, it shouldn't be too difficult to follow along. So the first thing you're going to do is download the drivers. You're going to click number one here, because we're going to follow this step in order. Click go. It's going to tell you that, hey, you can download some drivers compatible with Windows 8. Click this, download the actual drivers itself. Okay, so after you download the drivers, um, install them and whatnot, um, they'll just kind of like disappear off your screen. They should just flash, do their thing, install, and then disappear. What you're going to do now is go to step two, and then you're going to click go, whichever it did. And you, you have to create an account with HTC. This is important. You can't just make some sort of fake email address. Um, this is not spam or anything. Okay, so after you've created your account and you activated it, um, make sure you log in again. Um, it might not have actually, it'll activate your account, but it might not log you in. So make sure you log in. And what I'm going to do now is click step number three. Get token ID, and you're just going to click, simply click go. And what's basically doing is telling you to activate your phone into USB debugging mode. So let me show you how to do that. Okay, so on your device, what you need to do is basically go to your system settings. Go all the way to the bottom to about, and then we're going to go to software information. Then you're going to hit more, and here you're going to find a uh, bill number. And what you're going to do is repeatedly tap until you get a countdown. When the countdown is done, it says you are not a developer. Hit back a couple times, or one more. Okay, so you're in your system settings menu again, and I see developer options. That's now activated. Press OK. Okay, this has to be on, right? It was on for me by default when I activated it. Now you tap USB debugging, press OK, and there should be a check mark in there. This is extremely important, okay? Then of course you're gonna take your USB cable that came with your HTC, plug it into your computer, one end, the other end goes into your phone. Um, it's pretty straightforward. Now if you're like me, it says that uh, device driver was not installed successfully. This is okay. This actually happened for a lot of people where it's like kind of like a 50-50. Sometimes the drivers you get from this program work, sometimes they don't. So they're not working for me right now. So what I need to do is close all this. This is the pop-ups I'm getting from uh, the phone. And don't worry about this right now. Let's just X this out. No, just stop. I just stopped it quickly. And what I'm going to do now is go to Google. I'm actually going to type in HTC Sync right here in Google and go to the first result. Click it, download it, and 
what I'm gonna do now is actually unplug uh, the phone for now. After I install this program, make sure you plug your phone back in with USB debugging mode activated. It should install the drivers properly. And what you're going to do then is close HTC Sync Manager because the drivers are there now. But make sure this program is closed after the drivers are installed. So if you're like me, you have to do this extra step. It's not difficult. Um, this is the first time I'm doing it too, so don't worry about it. Okay, so I downloaded uh, HTC Sync. And this is what showed up on my phone. Um, saying, you know, allow our keys and blah, blah, blah. I'm going to check always and just press OK. And now we're going to continue. I'm going to close Sync Manager. It's imperative that it is closed properly. Uh, I might have to close it from Task Manager. So I'm going to get Token ID, press Go. Again, my phone is still in USB debugging mode, uh, connected to the computer, and it's telling you that two screens are going to pop up. When the first screen, um, well, there's two screens anyway. When the device finished restarts, restarting in bootloader mode, sorry, I don't know what the heck I'm saying, as it has now. See, now it's started in bootloader mode kind of th thing. Okay, when the phone is booted up like this, uh, the bootloader screen, as you can see, is locked still. You're going to close the first window that pops up here. Okay, so after I close the first window, there's a second one. I blurred out my uh, token ID. I don't want you guys to see it. But what you're going to do on this window, uh, obviously if you're on Windows, is you're going to right click anywhere inside and click Mark. Then you're going to highlight. Um, this is very important, so pay attention here. You're going to highlight from token start ID down to token, uh, sorry, identifier token end. So from the start to the end, you must have that all copied. Okay, it's very important. And on the keyboard, you're going to hit Control C at the same time which basically just copies. Close this window. Now we're on step number four. You're going to hit submit token ID, click go. It's going to tell you it's going to open the HTC developer website and the HTC website is just going to give you some uh, the exact same instructions I give you that you're going to copy your identifier token. Here's an example. It must have a start to end as they have here. You're just going to you know, paste yours in here, then click submit. And what they're going to do is actually email you uh, a file to the email you registered with. So when you go to your email, we're going to download that file. Um, I suggest putting it, so I have, I have it here. I have minus C drive, and there's my HTC program. I'm just going to also put that file just here in my C drive. So I'm going to click step number five, unlock bootloader, click go. Okay, and when this is Pindle pops up, it's basically telling you that your phone still has to be in bootloader mode. As you can see, my phone is still connected. I haven't unplugged it from the computer. It's still in bootloader mode. Click OK. Now it's telling you to find that um, file you downloaded with your identifier token, which HTC sends to your email. So mine is on my C drive, and click that. And this is what you're basically looking for. Unlock code.bin. Open. Okay, so now we're going to go over to the phone. So I haven't touched my phone. And what had happened is basically saying, do you want to unlock the bootloader? I want to. So what I'm going to do is use my volume up key. Uh, sorry, it's kind of hard with one hand. And there now I've, I've highlighted yes. What I'm going to do now is select it. I'm going to select it by pressing the power button at the top. It's really hard with one hand. And we're just going to wait. And at this point, um, what's going to happen is everything's being deleted off the device. Um, it's going to take a long time to restart. It's normal. Okay, so the phone uh, did start. It did take a while. It's nothing to be afraid of. Um, it, just be patient. It's finished booting up, and I still had the uh, command prompt window, the black one, here. After the phone had booted up, I, I just closed that window, and we're back at this screen. So what I'm going to do now is, you can either input all your information correctly or just ignore it. I'm going to ignore it and skip along. Okay, so to get our device ready for rooting and custom recovery, this is actually going to be a lot faster now. Um, you're going to go to your system settings again. Do the same thing, you have to get developer mode, so go to about. Um, where the heck, software information, more. Keep typing the build number, as you had before. You are not a developer. Go back a few times. And uh, now you have developer options. OK. Again, this should be on. In order to enable this, you can tap it, press OK. Our phone is now in USB debugging mode. You should actually just hook up your phone to the um, computer as well. So at this point, what you're going to do is choose a custom recovery. Uh, you have a number of ones to choose from. Now, if you're running a Sprint version of the M8, so I guess here's confirmation that the M8 works for the Sprint. You have two options, uh, so select these specific ones. I'm going to choose Team Win Recovery Project. I'm not using a Sprint version, so I'm going to select this one. I just like Team Win Recovery Project, so I, I'm selecting that. You can always just choose Clockwork Mod. It's your choice. Click Flash Recovery, and it's basically telling you that make sure USB debugging mode is enabled, uh, which it has for me. And again, I'm getting this pop-up. You may or may not get this pop-up. It's asking, do you want to allow for the computer? I'm going to tap Always. OK. OK, so if you don't get that pop-up, no big deal. 
uh, it's basically telling you that you click OK. The phone is now going to restart in bootloader mode again. And when it does, you're going to basically uh, close the second prompt window. So now I'm in bootloader window. And as you can see, the bootloader is indeed unlocked. So far, so good. So since I'm in bootloader win uh, screen on the phone, I'm going to click the second window. No, uh, sorry, the first window. And no, here's the second one. It's basically saying that it's just pushing recovery and uh, we'll continue from there. Okay, so after I pushed recovery, I closed the window on my computer, the command prompt. And what I'm going to do now is restart the device. So you can use the volume buttons to go down to reboot. Select the power button to select it. Let it reboot normally. Um, I'm going to choose to leave it plugged in as is. But make sure USB debugging mode is on and we'll continue from there to root. Okay, so restart the phone. Uh, still in USB debugging mode. Um, still connected to the computer. At this point, you're going to go to the program, <clears throat> the toolkit, and go to the very bottom right, and very bottom right, sorry, click perm root, click run. It's basically saying that you have to install it kind of manually on your own, um, but that's okay. And the first dialog box popped up. It said it had pushed something in like 0.3 uh, seconds. Close this first window. Now the second window is popping up. And now the device is rebooting at this point, and uh, it should boot into custom recovery. Okay, so it booted into custom recovery. And uh, what we're going to do now is install uh, super users. So I'm going to click install or tap rather. Scroll all the way down. This should be like probably the only thing on your phone at this point. Um, you can click super user dot zip. Swipe to confirm flash. Now it's actually pushing the uh, super user app into the phone. And what we're going to do now is tap reboot system. Oops, did I? And um, at this actually it's kind of like freezing a bit probably because it's getting used to pushing the um, super user file and now we're going to confirm that we have root so as the device re rebooted I unhooked it from a computer um, all these programs here you can actually close at this point and I have titanium backup installed I'm going to run it for the first time and just confirm that we have root and I can see we have root so in this video you have learned how to unlock the bootloader uh, load a custom recovery which you can choose between two and root your device and that's it you're pretty much set so again if you found this video useful uh, be sure to thank or donate to hasoon2000 on xta forums and also uh, be sure to check out my facebook google plus twitter links in the video description hit the like button it does help subscribe and thanks for watching